How to fix your hot water heater. Okay, I said hot water heater, that's really not what it is. How to fix your water heater. This video is sponsored by Ferguson. Now we teamed up with Ferguson because of everything that they do for plumbers and the plumbing community, helping us get the products and parts we need much faster. Today we have a special guest in the house. We have A.O. Smith, Jerry Winslet in the house to talk about water heaters and the right way to fix them. Getting your plumber, or if you own a company, your plumbers train the right way to fix water heaters. Number one, Jerry, welcome to Dallas. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Um, I haven't been here in a while, so it's, it's wonderful to, to come and see. Got to see some family this week. It was really nice. Good deal. So you were up in Oklahoma City yep. before you came down. Yep. I had a uh, family reunion up there. So um, it's a lot of fun. Got to see some people I haven't seen in a really, really long time. So i um, really excited to come down here and to meet you. I, nobody's ever excited about that. <laughs> I, I hate to say it. But first of all, let's talk about A.O. Smith University. Sure. How long has A.O. Smith University been around? Well, we've started, um, it's been around for about 10 years now. We started out, you know, we've, we've always had training at A.O. Smith. And usually that, that looked like, you know, someone going out in the field and doing training. Or uh, we had contractors to come back into our facility and we would do training for four days, three or four days in a row. Um, but, you know... The university site um, really started to take off around eight to 10 years ago. I love that because I definitely think I'm one of these people. We've got trainers built back here that we can do different kind of trainings with our plumbers on that I can use for videos and different things. But actually going into a facility that manufactures something and says, look, this is the way we recommend right. You, you test it and repair it and things like that, I think is phenomenal. Now, where is A.O. Smith University? A.O. Smith University is at uh, the, the, the plant, um, A.O. Smith plant. It's at our, at our facility in Ashland City, Tennessee, which is uh, 20 miles northwest of Nashville. So it's, we're right next to Nashville, which is, is great. Um, but yeah, it's just a short jog up Highway 12 is where <laughs> we like to call it. So That's actually pretty cool. And I've been to Nashville. Man, there's a beautiful country up there. Yeah, it is. It is very pretty. But it's nice down here. See, I'm from Oklahoma City, so it's it's a little bit different than Nashville, but it's it's really nice here. Okay, so you're from Oklahoma City. Yep. Have you ever eaten at Nick's Grill? Yes, of oh course. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'll tell everybody in the world, my favorite hamburger, Nick's Grill. Yeah. Maybe maybe my second. There's one in Bonham called Mud Bones. Really? Oh, man, I'm, I love good burgers. <laughs> Me too. So the training facility up there. Mm -hmm. What are your capabilities? What all do y'all train on? How is it that it's set up to where, because I'm one of these people, I love getting in, getting my hands on mm -hmm. things. How's your training facility set up? What we, are y'all's capabilities? We do um, hands-on training. We do some lecture as well. Um, if you come to our facility, uh, basically what would happen is um, you, it would be a mixture of hands-on and lecture. Um, and we have two labs. We have a residential lab. We have a commercial lab uh, where we will go in there and do top service items for each particular water heater. We train on uh, commercial uh, water heaters. We train on residential water heaters. Uh, and basically, you know, how they work, the features and benefits. And then we go into the, like the top service items of each unit. Um, and, and normally when we do a training like this, um, if you come to our facility, it's, it's a three or four day training. And basically come to our facility, the training is free um, and we provide transportation from the, the, the hotel that we use uh, and we provide lunch as well. Uh, what you would have to provide is the transportation to A.O. Smith and back actually, and anything after the training like supper and, and breakfast. Well, we're, like not, that. we're not that far. If I stay at home, we have them come pick me up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a 10-hour jog yeah. down the road. Yeah. Yeah. By the time we get back, we got to go right back because i got to be there tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so a four-day training is very intensive. I love that. You can actually take a technician in that really doesn't know a lot about mm -hmm. water heaters and Pretty much in four days, you could make them a water heater expert. And we and we kind of break it up into, you know, one day will be residential. The next two days could be tankless, and then we'll have a commercial day. And depending on what, you know, we can get into real specifics like, you know, power vent training. We can do a two-day power vent training. It's 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 custom. So um, you can go to our website, university uh, at hotwater.com. If you want to, to come to our facility, in-campus or on-campus training is not going on right now. Right, exactly. Uh, because of COVID. And we really don't know what it's going to look like in the future because of um, you know, COVID. Yeah and, yeah, and and it's changed everything. We know it's going to be some type of blend 
between virtual and uh, on-site training. It'll be hands-on plus virtual. But if you go to our website, go to university uh, at hotwater.com, uh, hotwater.com, and go to the um, on-campus page, uh, you can see the schedule there. We also have a virtual page as well, virtual campus page, and that's for our virtual training, which we've been doing every week. We do it every week now. Basically, what that is is the same thing you would get if you came to Ashland City, but online. So, I mean, it's a little bit different, though. It's not the same kind of training as as it is when you're in person because you really can't do that over the Internet. It's, it just doesn't transfer very well. And, no, no, and you're right, and I love that. So the training you're doing right now, mm -hmm. is it like the same four-day training that you would normally do? No, because we can't, you know, four days online is, is way too much. I completely agree. So we break it up into small chunks where some of them may be two hours, some of them may be four hours, but we give them breaks. Uh, but a lot of times we'll do these trainings where it's a 45-minute, you know, how it works, features and benefits, and top service item. And it's totally interactive. Uh, we have right now about 30 to 35 people can be in a class. Uh, we usually do this because of COVID. Everybody has some type of Zoom or something they can use, um, and we kind of use the same thing. And we also have, uh, you know, we use our cameras, so the, the signal looks really, really good. Um, we've got multiple camera angles and things like that. And we do it from the same uh, the same studio as, as we would if you were to come in, or the same classroom. Um, so it's a, it's, it's a really great experience for you uh, to come in and, and, and just, I, I highly recommend that you go there, uh, look at the, the website and, and take a look at what we offer, sign up for the, uh, the, the training and uh, we'll train you. I love that. So Jerry, when the in-person training is going on, how often does A.O. Smith do the in-person training there in Tennessee? Well, typically we'll do this uh, every other week. Okay. is usually what we do. Um, again, you can go to the website and look at the schedule uh, when it is posted. Uh, and it will be different. Like I said, you know, when we started out, you could do a four-day training. Now we're breaking it up into, you may have one week, maybe just tankless workshop, which is a two-day class. And then maybe there's a day of, of commercial. Um, but again, it's just going to be scheduled, you know, based on, you know, the, the demand, especially in 2019 when we were doing this. We had a lot of tankless workshops because everybody was in a tankless. Yes, they are. And they still uh, and are. Yes, they are. Yeah. So we had to do as much as we could. And it felt like every week we were doing a tankless workshop because, you know, even though it'll save every other week, there are times when emergencies come up. We have to do a training real quick. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that on the schedule. And, and you'll be able to see that when you look at the schedule. I love that. So when you are back in live or even right now, mm -hmm. if somebody wanted to get online and sign up to take you know, the, the troubleshooting courses on water heaters. Right. How do they go about that? Just go to the website? Yeah, you can go to the website. Um, we also offer uh, certification courses right now. You can take any time you want. Uh, we have residential certification courses. We have uh, commercial certification courses. We have a tankless workshop, which is basically that two-day class in two hours. Um, and, and that's the thing about training online. It's totally different. Uh, we tell you, we get straight to the point and tell you the answers you need to know. In class, you know, we may give you some lecture about it and we'll have some question and answers right there. And we try to get the people involved as much as possible. But that may take four hours to talk about a subject when online you can only have about 45 minutes. Yeah. So you just get right to the point. You tell them what they need to know and get them in and out of there as quickly as possible so they can, you know, get back to work. That's and, basically it. And I love that because, look, I'll tell you, it's hard to sit there for four hours and watch a video. <laughs> I know. And I mean, especially when you're learning. It's drinking water out of a fire hose. There's so much information. So I do, I like that y'all break it down like that. So the online courses, people can actually go to the website mm -hmm. and, and sign up for it, check the schedule, see what they're at. When y'all do in-person classes, mm -hmm. how does a company go about getting their people in and, and getting their people trained? Another, I mean, we still have to, to, to go to the website and, and sign up is basically what we would do. And you can do that um, through, uh, you know, sales reps, typically will advertise it and go to those companies and tell them they need to go ahead and go to it. But anybody can sign up. A new plumber, a plumber that's been a plumber for 25, 30 years. Or 40. Or 40, you know. yeah. You can do that, sign up anytime for any class. Um, now, eventually we'll probably have classes where they're advanced, uh, a little more troubleshooting. Uh, but by the way, we're training you, you know, we're gonna teach you the top five things of each water heater. 
that covers about 80% of the, the problems that you might experience Absolutely. with that water heater. Absolutely. Because we have a call center. Uh, we've got call centers all over the country. So we know what's going on in the field, and we take that data, we look at those top five calls, and we train exactly to that. The reason we do that is we want to get you in and out of that job site as fast as possible to put more money in your pocket so you can get on to the next job. That's what we want to do. That's our whole mission here is to make more money for you. You wanna make more money by getting to those jobs, knowing what you're gonna to need to do. We don't spend so much time in class talking about that one thing that happened in 1993. They had, you know, the vending was off. You know, we don't do that. We, right, there's no we, point in it. Yeah, it, it, it's a great story. Much from it. Yeah, right. it's a great story, but it doesn't help us with what we're doing. So, um, you know, we're all about efficiency. Uh, so, and the trainers we have there are top notch. They are the best in their field. Um, Kenneth Ezell and uh, Mike Dial, uh, Chris Campbell, Tom Daniel, all four of those guys are, are top notch. Um, Kenneth Ezell runs the, uh, the, the residential side. Mike Dial does especially tankless and uh, a heat pump. And then we've got Chris Campbell is uh, a uh, commercial. And uh, Tom Daniel does a little bit of everything. So it's it's a great experience i highly recommend when we do start having training at the facility come there and that's another thing you know uh, we we just don't know exactly what that's going to look like yet uh, i would recommend you, you go to the website take a look at it um, and just keep going back to it and look for that that on campus uh, section and eventually we'll have that schedule up we're just trying to figure out how we want to do that right now and look with everything going on we all understand that it's in different parts of the country, different parts of the world. I know people up in Canada, they're not even allowed to leave their neighborhood. Yeah. And if they go to the grocery store, there's only certain things they can buy. They have yeah. areas taped off. So it's yeah. like, man, it's crazy out there in different places, but we've all got to look at what's best for each other. So I completely understand this. And I think it's such a great way to do it. Okay, so Jerry, the, the training, look, I think mm -hmm. this is phenomenal. What training do y'all teach on the most? What is the most requested training here in the United States? Well, I mean, obviously, normally it's residential, but um, lately we've been training on uh, tankless. You know, we've talked about that earlier. Absolutely. Tankless, uh, we could do that all day, every day, I feel like. And have a full class. Yeah, every yeah. day. Um, heat pump. Heat pump's an, another one that, that we're getting a lot of requests for. Um, anything new that's coming out, uh, we do do a lot of training for. But, but basically residential, and that could be gas and electric, uh, power vent, uh, because you know we make a lot of different products. There are a, a ton of them out there, and they're all there for a specific reason. Um, having the right water heater at the right application is is critical because whenever you you know water heaters are changing, the way they build homes are changing, whether they build buildings are changing. Uh, so that water heater that fit in there before may not work in there now. That's why we have so many different water heaters. Residential water heaters is always the, the go-to, what, what I would say, but really tankless and heat pump have kind of crept up and, and we're doing a lot of those as well. So residential water heaters, do y'all do more gas, more electric, or is it kind of it's kind of a, parts a, of the country? Com it's a combination of both. Uh, gas, I feel like, is, is what we might do just a hair more than electric, um, but you know, our electric residential training <laughs> I laugh about it because we can we can do it for as long as you want, but it's basically about seven minutes to tell you exactly how it works. And test this, <laughs> test this, <laughs> yeah, test this, go. test this. There's the problem. It's it's yes or no on those. Gas is different because there's a lot of gray area, so we have to kind of get into that gray area. Um, I like training gas a little more because there's a little more meat to it. Uh, but electric, yeah, it's it's pretty much here it is. Uh, another cool thing is when we do, uh, let's say, a certification course on gas or electric, which is online. Uh, we offer PDFs that go with that training. So if we get to the number one call on gas and electric is no hot water. It's not my it pilot. Makes sense. Yeah. People are going to call about that all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's just no hot water. Uh, and we have a six step PDF that walks you through trying to troubleshoot no hot water. It goes through everything you can think of. Is that six steps gas or six steps Both. electric? Well, so Both. six steps for each one. Yes. That's good. I like that. And, and we did that. So it's the easiest way to do that. They're, they're both happen to be six steps. Uh, and that covers, you know, on gas, my pilot won't light, pilot won't hold. All of that is is a symptom of no hot water. That's what you get. I, I love that. And guys, I'll put a link to that in the description of this. So if you want that PDF, go down there and click yeah. on it. And man, that'll teach you the things that you need to know about a Nao Smith water heater. Mm -hmm. So Jay, this has been fantastic. Uh, I love everything that you've brought, the information, the knowledge, how 
do people find the website? What is sure. the website that they can go to to learn more okay. about this? It's university.hotwater.com uh, is where you would go. And, and again, that's that's the whole uh, shebang. So you can go in there. You can watch any of the certification courses there. You can watch uh, any of the live videos that we have that we keep on, on, on there. Because we'll do trainings for other people. That's another thing, and I forgot to mention this, but we, we do trainings for distributors and sales reps in the field that, that get a group together at one location or at multiple locations. Uh, they get a group together and they pick a topic, a date, a, a time, and we just go live at that time. And it's totally interactive. They can ask us questions. Uh, nowadays we use Zoom, which is pretty cool. But in the past we would just give a telephone number, they can text us the questions and we'd answer them as they came in. Zoom is a little bit different now because everybody has it. And everybody's uh, got a chat feature. That's so, right, yeah. chat and they have question and answer Raise feature. Raise your hand, let that's your right. hand down. Or what we like to do now is some of the classes, we try to keep them within like 30 to 35 people in those classes. Uh, so what we want them to do is sometimes we just say, take it off mute and whenever you wanna ask a question, go ahead and ask the question. Uh, because we want, we like that. It's just like being in a classroom right then. So it's totally interactive and we'd like to stay on until you feel comfortable and then we'll let you go about your business after that. So uh, it's it's great. But it's university.hotwater.com is, is the uh, the website and, and you can go there and, um, you know, just see the whole thing. I love that. Number one, thanks for being here. Thank you. I talk about training and education. How do you set yourself apart from everybody else? studying 30 minutes to an hour a day about new tools, new materials, new technology. This is a great way to do it, to get in and help separate yourself from all the other plumbers out there. Learn how to do things better, stronger, faster. Get in, get out, but take the best care of your customers. If you've gone through any water heater training, do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know, did you find the value in it? Because I tell you what, the more I learn, the more comfortable I am walking in and working on them and I recommend this for everybody. So guys, check it out, get the download below, click on the link, it'll take you to the A.L. Smith website where you can download that PDF. That will definitely help you out. And like I said, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Jerry, once again, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.